This is a story about Percy, the small engine. A cheeky little green saddle tank engine, whose favorite job is to deliver the post train. He is the number six on the Fat Controller's railway, and has a whistle that sounds like this. So now that you've met the hero of our story, let's begin our journey. All aboard for a big adventure! Letters to Father Christmas It was nearly Christmas on the island of Sodor. This was the busiest time of year for the railway. Trains coming and going, full of passengers and freight. The busiest of them all was Percy and the post train. Percy would deliver thousands of cards, letters, presents and packages across the island from far and wide. Delivering the mail at this time of year is the most important job on the railway, said Percy proudly. Instead of biting back, the other engines were in agreement. They understood the pressure and responsibility to be in charge of the post train at Christmas. So they let Percy have his moment. One day, some children were excitedly waiting for Percy. Please, they called, could you deliver our letters? Of course I can, replied Percy happily. Where are they going? To the North Pole! We're sending our letters to Father Christmas! Percy's smile slipped away. Uh, to the North Pole? That's right! Uh, can you get them there, please? Percy hadn't the heart to disappoint them and agreed to do so. I'll do my best, he said. As Percy hurried along the line, he kept thinking about the children's letters. How on earth can you get letters to the North Pole? He muttered to himself. Percy decided to speak to the big engines about it. Do you know the North Pole? <laughs> Never heard of it? No, don't take the mick, of Percy. You know where Father Christmas lives. We do indeed, replied Gordon. How do children get their letters to him? Well, you should know these things, my dear lad. With an address and a stamp, of course. But, 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 but how does it get there? By airmail. What's that? Flying reindeer! <laughs> oh, come on, James. Give Percy a break. Listen, I've heard a special train come specifically to collect those letters and deliver them directly to Father Christmas. Percy didn't believe Henry. You're just taking me for a ride, he snorted and huffed crossly away. That night, Tom Tipper the postman was waiting for Percy at the station. Mr. Tipper, how do the children's letters get to the North Pole? asked Percy. Henry said a special train takes them to Father Christmas. Henry's right, smiled Tom Tipper. But he's forgotten one important thing. And what's that? Magic. K 
Can I stay to see this train? I'm afraid not. You've got a much more important job to do. There are lots of people counting on you. But rest assured, Percy, those letters will make it to the North Pole. Percy smiled happily. Thank you, Mr. Tipper, and a Merry Christmas. Ah, right on time as always. More letters heading to the North Pole. I hope you have plenty of gold dust to get you there. I always do, Mr. Tipper. And thank you.